back to Book Reviews with Alice. Today we are going to be talking about Chosen to Fall by Emmy Hamilton. Now, Chosen to Fall is another indie author book, and it's one that was in my top three indie reads for last year. It was number two, and is my second favorite indie book that I've ever read. So it is a fantastic fantasy novel. It is a YA, but it is aimed at older YA, so like 15 plus, because of the mature content that you will find in the story. Our main character is Farah, I think is how you say it, and she is a princess. Her mother is the queen of the kingdom, and clearly her father is the king, and she's a little bit perturbed because in their line specifically, the girls have to get married young because after a very young age, um, they're no longer able to have children. So the important part there is they need to get married young so that they can have their heir, otherwise they're never going to have an heir. So while they live for a good long time, they do have to make sure that they carry on the family legacy and carry on with that. So we're meeting this girl who is trying to accept the fact that she's magical, obviously, because it's fantasy. Yay! But she's trying to live with the fact that she doesn't want to have to face up to the fact that she's going to have to get married, but it is an expectation both from her parents and her kingdom. Which is something that is always hard in fantasy books for characters to struggle with, that they have to get married when they don't want to. She's dealing with the general, I guess, of her parents' guard, Hunter, whose job is to train her. He's another magical entity and he is drives her crazy, quite frankly, because she's able to get most of the other people to do what she wants or let her get away with things simply because she's the princess and, you know, she's charming and sweet. But he does not fall for that crap and it drives her insane. So we've got that whole, I don't like you, dark brooding type man, which come on, let's be honest, when we read fantasy, who doesn't like adult? A tall, dark and brooding muscular man. I do. If you don't, well, that's okay. But it's in this book, so be prepared. And we follow her journey. This is book one of what will be a trilogy. Book two is also out right now. I haven't read it yet, but when I do, I will add it to the reviews, naturally. And then she's currently working on book three. I met Emmy Hamilton at a writing conference, actually. And she's a really nice person, and her book is great. I think one of the reasons I liked it so much is that the editing in it was impeccable. So when you read the book, not only does it have really cute little chapter drawings and things like that, but you can tell it was really well done with edits. And so the story flows, the words are written lovely, everything makes sense. There aren't times where we're left kind of second guessing what they meant by that sort of thing. I will admit I predicted quite a few of the things in the book, but you know what, as a writer, I feel like I predict half of every book that I read at least to the point that my husband does not let me watch movies with him anymore because I always give away the ending a quarter of the way through the movie. So that's probably more of an Alice thing and you should not take me predicting things as a negative impact on a book at all. But I really enjoyed this. There's a bunch of fun side characters, Nellie, and Nellie is a younger side character who is a little bit mischievous and a lot of people really like her as a mother of a person the age of Nellie. I did not love her character as much as other readers did, but that's okay. When you're living with a Nellie, it makes sense that you're not as attached to them. But um, her lady's maid was really wonderful. All the characters in the book are a lot of fun. And so this is a really great read. If you enjoy fantasy and you enjoy that whole arranged marriage type trope where you have to get married and save your kingdom and that sort of thing to stop the brink of war that's coming, by all means, check this out. It also is called Chosen to Fall because there has been a very clear message sent through this family line that there is going to be a chosen one that's going to come and like save everybody. And everybody, Farah has pretty much been pegged as that person, which is a whole nother thing that she has to live with on top of everything else going on is the fact that everybody is like, yes, chosen one. And she's like, thanks for that. So I feel like we got a little bit of reluctant hero happening in there as well. So, yep, like I said, if you like YA fantasy and, oh, there's a little bit of spice in it. It's not excessive, but that is the reason that it is 15 plus is there is some intimate sexual moments, we'll say. So that is why it's 15 plus. That's why my book will be 15 plus. So, yep, definitely check it out. It's a blast and you can find it online on Amazon or on Emmy's website as well. So. Thank you for sticking around for my review and I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.